All right, greetings, friends and prayer partners, prayer ministry partners. Uh, thank you so much for being willing to agree with me in prayer in this simple thing that I call paragraph prayer, and now a video paragraph prayer, in advance of my ministry trip, my four, fourfold ministry trip to Uganda, coming up very shortly, September 12th through the 23rd, to teach and train and equip about 400 pastors and church leaders, uh, to minister at an orphanage, to preach evangelistically at a prison, and then to preach evangelistically live on FM radio uh, there in Kamuli, Uganda. But I don't want to go without first having a prayer meeting, if you will, and that's in effect what this is, by us simply coming together to agree for God's kingdom to come and His will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And today, if you would, if you would just agree with me as I, as I read slash pray through a passage from Isaiah 44, verses 1 through 5, that I believe the Lord continues to give to me uh, for this ministry to, uh, to Africa. So if you would just join me, and I'm going to read it in the form of prayer, um, if you'd join me right now. Father, your word says, but now listen, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord who made you and formed you from the womb, who will help you? And Father, I need your help. You say, do not fear, O Jacob, my servant, and you, Yeshurun, upright one whom I have chosen. For I will pour out water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. And Father, we're asking that you would move upon the people that I'm ministering to, to be hungry and thirsty for you and to receive all that you have for them. You say you will pour out your spirit on my offspring. Pour out the Holy Spirit upon these men, women, and children and your blessing on your descendants. Give them your blessing. Overflow them with your blessing. And they will spring up among the grass like poplars by streams of water. This one will say, I am Yahweh's. And that one will call on the name of Jacob. And another will write on his hand, belonging to Yahweh, and will name Israel's name with honor. So Father, we're asking in the name of Jesus that you would do Isaiah 44, verses 1 through 5, in the lives of every single man, woman, and child that I minister to in Uganda on this trip. Be glorified, bring forth enormous fruit for yourself, bring forth many salvations, and root and ground your church deeply that it may thrive and bring you glory and honor forevermore. And we ask this in the name of of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Thank you, my friends, for joining me in prayer. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.